Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Keep middle of a jump. Hey everyone, Cass here, and I've promised to make a full review of the YAW VR Motion Simulator, but I didn't want to review it without trying out the two most popular things you probably wanted for VR racing simulators and VR flying simulators. So I went on to get racing wheels first. I got these uh, Logitech G920 driving force wheels for the occasion, which uh, took a while to get delivered, I guess due to uh, COVID, but here it is. Ain't it beautiful? With it, I wanted to know what it's like to play racing games with the YAW simulator, but making these wheels work with the simulator didn't go as expected as it didn't go without its issues. So in this video, we'll talk about that, what I did to solve it, and I'll share my recommendations. But first, if you'd like to see more videos about virtual reality, then consider subscribing. And now, join me beyond reality. For those who don't know the Yaw Motion Simulator, this is a moving chair that simulates movements of a game to make it more realistic. It's a 3 dove chair. This means it can pitch yaw and roll. What makes the yaw motion simulator different from others is that it has a high dynamic range. It can rotate unlimitedly in 360 degrees and the pitch and roll angles can go up to 70 degrees. It's also compact and relatively more affordable than other motion simulators out there. Yes, I know, I'm not saying this price is low, I'm just saying that competing motion simulators out there are usually much higher in price. So the YAW simulator is built for VR gaming, but you can also use it without VR. We are of course diving into it with a VR headset, the Valve Index more specifically. And I want to say that I made for a first impressions video on the YAW simulator previously, with a lot more info. Check out the link in the description if you haven't seen it yet. Now. Let's dive into some VR sim racing. All right, I am in Dirt Rally 2.0. This is the first time I'm going to try out this racing game. It looks pretty intense to me, so uh, let's uh, try this out. But the first uh, thing that I have to do is connect the YAW VR Motion Simulator with this game. And for that, you will need the YAW VR game engine, which I have opened already over here to show you. Uh, this is the Steam VR desktop view. And uh, I already turned on the plugin, which I could do by pressing this red button. And now I need to start the device. I can click on it using Steam VR because uh, the game is in uh, full screen. So I'm just going to use my phone to start the YAW simulator. Let me put my feet on the pedals first. And now I'm going to start it using my phone. Whoa! Let me use the belt just in case. <laughs> All right. I also turned the power a little bit down at like 55%. It can go up to 100, but that is really too intense for me. Five, four. Oh, I need to three. recenter. Let's recenter real quick. This looks good. Two. Here we go. One. Go. Flat left. Fifty. Turn Ooh. six right to the crest. Is it working? Six left. It looks. 50. It feels like it's working. Flat middle the of the crest. Eighty. Right now. Woo! Keep middle of a jump. Fifty. <laughs> Four okay. right narrow. Okay. Eighty. Whoa! 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 <laughs> Keep middle of a jump. Ah! That's freaky, freaking intense. Oh my god. Whew. Let's not crash like crazy Flat again. Left. That was scary. Turn six right of a crash. Here we go. Six left. Fifty. Four right now. I'm actually a bit scared 18. to go too fast in now. Whoa. How nice to have a passenger who tells me stuff, who warns me about things. Whoa! Right into five left long, narrow of a bumper. <laughs> Guys, this is intense. I can't believe this. This feels so into realistic. Right. 80. Okay, let's go a little bit slower. This is pretty cool, right? Once you have it set up, it's so much fun as it's able to simulate G-forces to make me feel like I'm actually sitting in that car. And those road bumps, they are just crazy. I found that it even vibrates differently on different types of roads, which is 
very cool. This all does depend on the game and the software settings that you use, but so far I like it. And I never really liked racing games personally, but now I could spend a couple of hours in there just having fun. By the way, thanks to SimTalk5 for recommending Dirt Rally 2 to me, that game is just intense. Anyway, I wanted to make this video before the full review because I wanted to inform you that this setup didn't go without trouble. And I know that a lot of you are interested in this simulator for racing specifically. So this is what happened. I got these Logitech G920 wheels for the yacht simulator. Don't get me wrong, as I didn't have trouble with the wheels, these wheels themselves are incredible. The force feedback feels excellent. The leather on the steering wheel is beautiful and feels great. It's a high quality accessory. But I knew that when I chose these because a lot of uh, members in the VR community recommended this one to me. It was usually either this one or the Thrustmaster T300. And if you look at reviews online, these two wheels seem to be the most popular ones to get. So I'm saying this because it will be a logical choice for a lot of sim racers to get these. But unfortunately the yaw simulator doesn't quite work well with it. The first thing I noticed is that the metal foot plate that came with the yaw sim doesn't fit the pedals because of these bent parts. So I had to figure out a different solution for this. Members of the Yaw community have told me that they made their own plates with plywood. I was going to do that, but talking to the company, they decided to provide me with a plate without the bent part. So then all I needed to do was drilling holes to make the pedals fit, which is what I did as you can see here. But what I also didn't know was that these wheels are on the heavy side for the yacht simulator. It can cause balancing problems and it can even overheat the motors. Members of the yacht community told me this after I already got the wheels, but before this test so I could uh, pay close attention to this when testing the simulator. Luckily, I did not have overheating problems and I was playing for 2-3 to three hours straight, so that seems to be okay. However, I did notice the balancing issue. Since the yaw simulator is so much heavier now in the front, it has uh, trouble lifting me. What I figured out to do here is to put the steering wheel more towards the center of the shell, so more towards my body to balance it out. This worked, but this isn't the most comfortable position as I usually like my steering wheel a bit further away. So Yaw VR suggested putting some extra weight in the shell with me to balance it. I guess I'm a bit too light to balance these wheels. For your reference, I'm around 115 pounds. So this might actually work out okay for those who weigh more than me. After putting extra weight in the shell, this setup works, as you can see. I only needed about 7.5 pounds to counterweight the wheels and pedals. I don't recommend putting too much weight in there though, you should carefully increase the weight because of the overheating issue. I did notice one more thing, which is that the center plate isn't locked in place enough. I noticed that I sometimes accidentally pick up the whole plate, which of course doesn't help with the immersion. Talking to a friend, he told me that he solved that by adding screws with wing nuts, which I will try later as well. So you can probably tell now that the simulator takes a lot of setup work for sim racing. This all makes it seem like that the all motion simulator isn't really built for racing. I do believe that you can make this work if you don't mind spending the time on it. To make this all work for me, I have to spend a couple of full weekends on this. I had fun with it though, as I don't mind tinkering and I really just wanted to make it work with my wheels. But I think a lot of this setup work could have been avoided if y'all provided better documentation. For example, it would have helped me already to know which uh, racing wheel plus pedal setup are light enough for the simulator. I also think it would help if y'all provided special equipment for sim races only. For example, lighter universal plates for the most popular pedals. I mentioned before that people in the yaw community use plywood as plates for their pedals because plywood is lighter. I hear that that works well for them. So what if y'all provided that as an option? I did hear that y'all is working on these plates, but I'm not aware when this will happen and what material it will be. And then there's the overheating problem. As I said before in the video, I haven't experienced that myself, but I do feel like there needs to be a warning about this as it sounds potentially dangerous. I did hear that y'all is working on a cooling solution right now, but here as well, I don't know when. 
It could also be that uh, the overheating issue comes from uh, people who uh, made some self-made modifications to the Yasim, like uh, way too much counterweight. So it might not happen to those who uh, don't do that. But here again, I think this could be avoided if y'all provided more documentation on what to do or more specifically on what not to do. The good news is that y'all is providing replacements for those with this problem. But this is the thing that is preventing me to uh, say that I think you should get a yaw motion simulator just for sim racing. I think right now the yaw sim is uh, better for games that don't need those really heavy accessories like uh, flight simulators or space games. It's a shame as the yaw simulator is a lot of fun to add to your sim racing too. But I'm going to save the rest for my full review which is coming very soon. I just wanted to let you know about this as I know a lot of you are interested in getting this just for racing. Let me know in the comments below if you are still interested in getting the Yaw Motion Simulator or maybe you already did and if so, for what purpose do you want it or already have it. Thanks for watching, I really can't do this channel without all of you so please take care of yourself and stay healthy too. And a special thanks goes to all our patrons. As always, VR on!